AMS 2140, Database and Analyzer Configuration for Triaxle Sensors. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure your database and analyzer to work with a triaxle sensor. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. There are different methods for working with a triax sensor, and you can install it in different directions. For this tutorial, we will use a practical example where we have installed the sensor in the horizontal and radial directions. The image you see here reflects Emerson's triax sensor, model A064-3TX. This sensor comes with an embedded magnet. In the diagram, Z is the horizontal reading, X is the vertical reading and Y is the axial reading. When configuring the database for the triax sensor, there are two important numbers to consider. First is the group number. All of the measurements points in the same plane must have the same group number. Numbers 1 through 19 are reserved for triax sensors. Second is the channel number. Channel numbers specifies the direction of the measurement. In our example, 1 indicates horizontal, 2 indicates vertical, and 3 indicates axial. To collect data on this machine train using a triax sensor, you want to install the sensor in the horizontal direction in four locations. The motor outboard, motor inboard, the fan inboard, and finally, the fan outboard. Four locations, always in the horizontal and radial directions. So what do we need to do in the database to make sure data is correctly recorded? In the software, go to Database Setup Management to access a screen called Group Channel Number Summary. If you have previously used the database wizard to build a machine, you will see something like this. This shows the horizontal and peak view measurements for our four measurement points are in the same group and will therefore be measured simultaneously. And here we have channel number 1 for the horizontal radial measurement. But if we want to work with the triax sensor, we will need to adjust the configuration. First, we need to put the measurements from the same plane in the same group number. So here you see everything from the motor outboard is in group number 1. Motor inboard will be group number 2. Fan inboard will be group number 3. And finally, Fan outboard will be group number four. If there are more than four bearing locations in your machine train, you would simply continue with the next available group number. When you start with the next machine train, you can start again with group number one. And within each group, your channel numbers are one for horizontal or peak view, two for vertical, and three for axial. Next, we will take a live look at making these changes in the software, as well as how to make the changes at a global database level. After that, we will look at how those changes appear in the AMS 2140. Under Tools, select Database Setup and select Tree Structure. Select the machine, edit, and then modify Group Channel. Here you see how the database wizard has configured the group numbers. Similar to what we reviewed in the previous screenshots, I will make those changes live in the software. This machine is done, but if you have a large database making these changes, it could take quite a while. Let's look at a faster way to do this for more machines. This time from Tools, select Database Utility and choose Modify Measurement Points. On the left, you can specify filters and on the right, you can specify actions. Before we begin, make sure these two items are activated. For the filter, I'm going to select Measurement Point Identifier, equal to Motor 1 Horizontal. I want to change that to a single group number and a single channel number. At this point, both numbers should become 1. In the area above, I can specify what part of the database should be modified. I want both of these areas to be modified, 
I select them and then click the hammer icon to execute or drop the hammer on the changes. Next, I can do the same for the peak view measurements by changing the field value, selecting the area, and again dropping the hammer. Next, I will make the changes for the vertical measurements, so I will have to set the channel number to 2, select the areas, and drop the hammer. I will also modify the axial configuration, making the channel number 3. These changes were all for Motor 1 measurements. When I am ready to make changes for Motor 2, I modify the value for the filter field and repeat the steps. For every different measurement point identifier in the database, you can execute these actions just once. Please note, this setup example is valid if the Tri-X accelerometer is mounted horizontally, with the sensor feet pointing perpendicular to the machine shaft. If the sensor feet are pointing parallel to the shaft, then channels 2 and 3 need to be swapped. Now that the configuration is updated in the software, let's go to the AMS2140. Here we see the home screen, where I'll select F8 route. I am automatically placed in the first measurement point of the route. Motor fan 1 Motor 1 Horizontal. You can see here in the green the group and channel information. I installed the sensor at Motor Outboard Horizontal. Now I will start the machine and begin collecting data by pressing F9. The four measurements are done simultaneously, and the analyzer goes immediately to the next plane. I move my sensor to the motor inboard and press F9 again, and you see all four measurements are quickly collected. Repeat these steps for the fan inboard horizontal. And the fan outboard horizontal. All 16 measurements for the machine are now done. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.